I was fortunate enough to have been taught by a lot of Filipino chefs and I love Filipino food and from what I see it's all about family, it's all about big plates of food for everyone. Here I'm just taking stuff that I've learned from someone else's adobo, someone else's adobo, all these different adobos that I've tasted and loved. This is my culmination and I will be making an adobo inspired rum. So I made sure to not waste any chicken. These were our chicken thighs. I lightly dry brine them. Now, I know the first step of adobo, a lot of people don't dry brine their chicken, but I just decided to because I am going to pre-sear it. A little bit of pre-searing adds a more roasted chicken flavor. And then all of this stuff, we're gonna cook in the font. I have a little bit of onion infused chicken fat. You could just use regular chicken fat, chiu, from the top of our beautiful stock pot. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this. As soon as you can see a little bit of shimmering, I'm gonna lay my chicken away from me, fat side down. It's really just your preference. I think with this bowl of ramen and the shoyutari that we're using, a darker chicken flavor is nice. We have onions, soy sauce, cumin, cardamom, some clove, black pepper. Basically, as long as you got the bay leaf and the black pepper. You could also use a whole black pepper, but it's really up to how pungent you would like each ingredient. And then some garlic. I'm just gonna chop it up, Goodfellas style, very, very, very thin. The cardamom, I kind of like to crush a little bit just to release its oils and stuff. When our cardamom is done, we're also just going to take a little bit of cumin and do the same thing, kind of open it up a little bit. So this is pretty much what you're looking for. All of these kind of brown spaces are gonna produce that really, really nice roasted chicken flavor that will complement the ramen very well. That is a perfect crust right there. And then we are going to go in with our other ingredients. We got some onion, and now that our onions are a little bit translucent, we're gonna go in with our garlic, kind of move it around. So I'm just going to julienne some ginger real quick. And then we want this fine, but we really don't want that much of it. We're gonna go in with our cardamom, cumin, and clove. Just make sure you keep track of where the clove is. I know it's really small, but don't bite into it. This is not fun. A little bit of black pepper. This is like the perfect base. We're gonna add a little bit of brown sugar. I mean, this is a lot of brown sugar, but it makes it nice and syrupy. And this also produces a wonderful sauce. We have a little bit of our chicken broth. We're just gonna add this just to give it a little bit more volume. And this is where we start braising. This seems to be a big debate. Everyone uses a different amount of soy sauce or vinegar. The one to one ratio is actually awesome. So you just wanna keep it low and slow, as low as possible. This is optional, but I think it makes it really nice and creamy. This is coconut milk. We don't want this to boil at all. We just kind of want this to sit here and braise. Our bay leaves, you know, I'm not gonna lie, you should have added these when you added the pepper. I have not seen a good adobo without peppercorns or bay leaves, so you gotta use bay leaves. So it should start falling off the bone. Any time past then is a sweet spot. So it's been about two hours and this is perfect. Everything that should be going is going. So instead of our regular shoyu tare, I'm gonna use the liquid from our adobo. We got our drumstick here. We're gonna use this part for some adobo flakes. And then this is going to be our centerpiece. So, move it on your cutting board. It should just fall off the bone. Look at that, perfect. We have our adobo chicken, and then we took some of the scraps off of the leg and this is all the cartilage and stuff. It melted in the adobo, it dissolved, and now we're just gonna chop it up. The way that the collagen dissolves in your bowl of ramen is insane. It is time to assemble our adobo ramen. I'm gonna start by, of course, cooking our noodles. This time I'm using some thinner, more straight noodles. Just gonna drop our noodles. And since these are a little bit thinner, we're gonna cook these for like 50 seconds. Off. Kinda wanna mix it a little bit to get all that adobo gravy. One nice noodle fold, pick it up, go around, boom. 
Perfect, okay. Grilled corn in this one is really nice because it kind of pops. You could also mix some stuff in here like mayo, miso, whatever you'd like. Then we're gonna add our chicken. Light amount of spinach on the side. And then we're gonna take our scallions, and establish your nest. The key part, our adobo flakes, our cartilage. This is going to kind of bleed into your soup, make it really rich, beautiful. Just to reiterate, that kind of vinegar forward taste. I have some really nice finishing vinegar here, infused with some black peppercorns, very adobo forward, and just a little bit on top. And that is my adobo-inspired ramen. Oh, wow. You could literally taste every layer that we put in fire. this chunk of thigh. Y'all gotta like and subscribe because I made a previous video where I dive into making the stock for this bowl and then I got another one coming where I'm making a spicy mapo tofu inspired bowl of ramen. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed and yo, I'm gonna keep eating this bowl.